Hi, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to export multi-tracks and stems out of Audacity so you can use them in another DAW. Okay, so we're gonna start um, by assessing all the tracks here. I'm gonna go ahead and do view track size, collapse all tracks just to make my view a little easier. So before we do anything, we're gonna to have to address the silence that are the gaps in audio because when you import multi-tracks or stems, you want everything to start at the same time. If you don't have this done, it's going to play this part of the song at the beginning of the song that's going to be out of order and it's not gonna be right. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to, uh, we're gonna select any region here to the beginning of the track. We're gonna to go to Generate, Silence, and then hit Generate, and it's gonna create some silence here. Then we're gonna select this and the silence on these tracks. We're going to go to edit, audio clips, join. And then all the tracks now, or all the clips are, are connected and are beginning in one place. So unfortunately, you're going to have to do that for every single track to make sure that it's done. And with shortcuts, you can do, uh, you will have to do generate on its own, but you can do control or command J to join. And that's how you do that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all these tracks here, and then I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, so now all of my tracks have been um, addressed to where they're all starting at the same time. Um, you don't have to add more if it only has a piece of it. Some people like to do this kind of thing where they will um, like to make sure all of the entire tracks are starting at the same time. You don't have to do that. Um, but you can if you want, but I don't think it's worth the time. So now we have all our tracks starting at the same time, and now we can start getting everything ready for export. So stems are exporting the tracks as is in this current mix or any current mix. So it's going to include the pan settings, it's going to include the volume or gain setting, it's gonna include any type of effects that are on your track, um, compression, EQ, whatever plugins you have. So that's what stem is. So, okay, so what we're gonna do for stems is we're gonna go to file, export audio, and I have a file location already, already ready here. We're gonna go to export range, multiple files, tracks, and I'm just using label track name. You can use prefixes and stuff like that. I'm doing 32-bit uh, float, and most of these, or all these are mono. So now what I would do is I would just hit export. Now, if I go to my folder, I'm actually gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call these stems. And these are my stems now. So these are the tracks printed as they are in the mix, as far as panning, effects, gain, whatever. Multi-tracks, we don't want that. A multi-track is exporting the raw clip at unity gain and pan, which means the pan is centered, the volume's at zero, there's no effects on it. To do that, it's gonna take a little bit more work. We're gonna to have to go in manually and adjust all of the gain to zero on every track. Thankfully, there is a setting to make sure the pan is all. So we can do uh, Control A or Command A to select all tracks. We can go to Tracks, Pan, Center. And that will make all of the tracks center. So Unity, Pan. Fortunately, to, like I said, to fix the gain, there is no setting for that. So you're gonna to have to do it manually. You can either do it in the mix window or you can do it in the edit window. I'm gonna do it in the mix window. I think it's faster. I just double click, type in zero, hit enter. It's gonna put it at unity gain. So I'm gonna to have to do this for every track. So I will come back when that is done. Okay, so now all of my tracks are at unity pan and unity gain. I had to go through all of these and double click and enter those values. Like I said, I did it in the mix window. You could have done it here though. You could have just double clicked and hit zero and went down. So now we're actually ready to export these multi-tracks. Also, we're assuming that you haven't printed effects onto your track in Audacity because Audacity doesn't have real-time effects like most other DAWs. You have to actually process it on the track. If you are working with a session that you've already printed over a track, Unfortunately, it's going to be, have that printed on there. Just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna to go to File, Export Audio. Once again, we're gonna do the 
mono, multiple files, tracks, using a track name. This session was 441, um, and encoding, I'm using 32-bit float. You could use any of these, but I think this is the most relevant. And I have my folder ready, and I'm gonna do export. Okay, and let's make sure that worked. Yep, those are all our multi-tracks. So now, if I go into Reaper, um, I'm just gonna drag these in. Now all of my tracks are in Reaper or Pro Tools, whatever DAW you wanna use. And they're starting at the same place and they are properly panned and centered. So you can do whatever you wanna do with the mix versus if you had used the stem, it would have printed that previous pan or gain setting. So that's how it's done. I hope this helped and thanks for watching.